the book World History, a Selective and Limited Content Series, Volume 1A, is available in Kindle format. It is available on all the platform of Amazon. The link for Indian Amazon, Amazon.in, is given in the description. However, the ACN number of this product, which is universal to all the Amazon platform, is highlighted to your left hand side. My dear friends, it gives me a pleasure to present before you my book. The title of the book is World History, a Selective and Limited Content Series, Volume 1A. The display is in Kindle format. Firstly, I will discuss its contents. Later, I will share with you some more information. Kindly persist with me and watch the whole video. The book contains seven chapters. Chapter number one, A, is Decline of Feudalism. Chapter number one, B, Rise and Growth of Mercantilism. Chapter 2a Renaissance, Chapter 2b Reformation, Chapter 2c King Louis XIV, the Sun King and the Great Enlightened Monarch, Chapter 2d Frederick II, a Great Enlightened Despot, and Chapter 3 Glorious Revolution. Some of you may observe that in the TOC table of contents the chapters are not in a serial order but I assure you if you acquire this book they are in serial order it is a shortcoming which had been identified and has been rectified so this book contains overall 52 pages so this book which has been formatted into dot epu uh, epub file format it is used to create this ebook now let us take a peep into the contents of each chapter chapter 1a decline of feudalism which i have already explained in a separate video and available on my channel the first the meaning of feudalism has been taken, origin and duration, then causes of the decline of feudalism, and the causes are then again explained in point form, the rise of standing armies, fall in the importance of knights, money became the power, this is the way I tried to present the topic, change in methods of fighting battles, then use of new weapons and gunpowder, new political institutions, resurgence of the judicial and financial authority of the kings, the inbuilt mechanism of the decline of feudalism, growth in agricultural yield, crusades, emergence of commercial classes, importance of commercial cities, laborers were needed in cities, some may object to such type of headings, but this is how I have presented the causes of feudal, uh, the decline of feudalism, then support and acceptance to the institution of kingship, revolt of the farmers, black death, mutual discord among feudal lords, influence of changing economy on feudal lords, a new economic policy, a very vast topic which I have tried to uh, present in a very succinct manner, in a very brief manner. Then new economic changes in agriculture. Uh, uh, a point on agriculture had been taken, has been taken earlier also, but uh, herein I have given other uh, explanation. Uh, I have tried to emphasize the different angle in economic changes due to agriculture and this way in each 20 points the this chapter has been completed now let us look into the rise and growth of mercantilism 
Now, in case of mercantilism, I have tried to explain the doctrine of mercantilism from its earlier time. My explanation is somewhat different from the general textbooks which are available in the market. As then the features of mercantilism, they again here you will find that the points which I have taken are somewhat different from the journal books which you find in the market. Then causes of mercantilism, emergence of Ravnissa, decline of feudalism, reformation, then followed by patronage of the monarchs to the traders, guilds and banking system also encouraged mercantilism. You may again object to, to my framing of the points. However, I have preferred to make this point in this manner. Then transition to exchange economy, or rise of commercial capital, mer maritime discoveries, discovery of uh, compass. You may object to it that, uh, well, in, it could have been covered under maritime, but uh, I have emphasized it because as far as per my reading uh, of the European history, then improvement of navigation vessels. Now, this is the point which you will not uh, find explained the way I have uh, explained it in my book. I have talked about the different models of uh, the ships which were being used and the changes which were coming in the construction of uh, the vessels, the, uh, the merchant vessels, which has encouraged this uh, uh, phenomena in European history. Then after that effects, the, the, how it caused the decline of feudalism, rise of colonies, then tariff walls. This concept I have tried to explain a, in a different manner. Wages were kept low. This is how I tried to present it, subsidy to the producers then promoting slavery, spending on the research by the state and the commercial classes. It is a very vast point. There can be a need of more reading on this point, but I have, as per the requirement of undergraduate class, I have tried to explain it. Increase of navigational acts, rise of protectionist policies, then causes of decline. Uh, what were the causes of decline of mercantilism? Uh, it was the rise of commercial capital, then uh, rise of industrial capital, then uh, rise of physiocracy, which led to free trade doctrine. You will find this uh, point different from other books because I have taken it uh, from the history of economics. You may not find it in the journal textbook, which are available in the market. Similarly, the agricultural economy demanded the attention of the state government that uh, uh, undervalue this uh, uh, approach to the commerce in, at that time. Adam Smith promoted naturalism. That is a free economy, no doubt. Um, the book of uh, Adam Smith definitely changed the political economic scenario. Zero-sum game is not valid. Now, this is the point which I have I have again taken from the study of history of economics. The, the, this point is generally discussed by the, the Faculty of Economics and Commerce. I have brought it into my book and the, the Industrial Revolution had matured. This is the point which you will find in other books also. Democracy and free trade doctrines destroyed the mercantilism doctrine in the 18th century, no doubt. A, it is related to Adam Smith's uh, theory and mercantilism had promoted inefficiency and corruption in the government departments. The race, uh, the race for colonies increased uh, mutual tension. I have kept it quite brief. You will find uh, it uh, explained in different manner in different book than legacy. Now, I had to try to um, correlated with the present changes when I was uh, writing this book. At that time, Trump government was establishing some uh, re commercial relation with the Chinese government. I had made refer reference to that. In order to explain this legacy, I have not uh, uh, called it a conclusion. I have intentionally called it a legacy. So 
uh, the inbuilt meaning is quite implicit now let us take the next chapter chapter number two way now this chapter is very vast chapter it is very difficult to explain uh, all the aspect of renaissance in a small book but this question is being asked again and again in examination and the students have to develop an answer for it because in many uh, question paper uh, you are constrained to answer this question so i have tried to uh, compress a large aspects of uh, renaissance in this single chapter which is uh, in itself forms an answer to the question and uh, the, after giving the definition the main features of renaissance which i have emphasized in a different manner because uh, there had been some short answers also which asked for the main features of the renaissance so in this manner i have tried to present it in the book so that you can easily frame out a small short note on the basis of the content which i have given then the causes of renaissance i again repeat it is very difficult to compress all the aspect of renaissance within one single book uh, but this forms the part of the syllabus of many universities you have to answer the different dimensions of renaissance in order to justify the questions which generally the paper setter asks at different level so first is crusade then commercial prosperity paper and printing press then <coughs> decline of feudalism occupation of constantinople by the turks the after that the next topic is rise of mongol empire then uh, role of progressive rulers nobles popes and middle class capitalists it required a lot of reading to understand this whole aspect and uh, somehow i have uh, given you, you a very brief uh, uh, the explanation of this point scientific inventions well this is the topic which virtually require full understanding more, lot of illustration by the teacher but uh, for writing an answer in for, in any examination you have to be very brief then emergence of new cities you have to understand this thing similarly the effects of renaissance so sometimes question comes which only ask for renaissance there so this aspect is covered in uh, under this topic the social effects which i have further divided into points the cultural effects then uh, which are again divided into the points economic effects they again divided into points political effect again divided into the points there uh, i will like to suggest here that i have already given this uh, answer on my blog i will give uh, a link in the description uh, which you can check and it is one of the popular question of uh, uh, on my blog then come reformation this similarly reformation uh, is explained the main aims of reformation this uh, i have intentionally dwelt in a form so that you can easily write a short answer uh, as a short answer on the aims of reformation had been asked again and again in the question papers then causes of reformation then evils the causes are discussed like evils of church then privileges of the pope and the priest pope's interference and greed of the kings here in the in this chapter you have to explain the stories both of uh, merchants to the kings so the points require a longer uh, explanation rise of nationalism this point is uh, very important the rise of nationalism has to be understood from historic perspective influence of renaissance then opposition of pope by the religious reformers then immediate cause so in different books uh, it has been uh, this point has been given in a different manner and but i have warned you don't try to narrate the whole story but just explain that what martin luther has done and how he was opposed and well if uh, 
there uh, there is a question which asked in detail then you have to seek another book but in this thing in this book i have tried to explain the role of uh, martin luther and uh, effects of Reform reformation are taken you have to write this point even if they are, do not ask for it there so if this question is uh, not all that popular and in case of punjab university they have asked for reformation only but they have not taken up the counter revolution in the present syllabus so i have omitted the uh, counter revolution aspect well in case of louis 14 this question is very important because it has been taken in diff uh, it has been asked in different universities at also even in uh, competitive examination those who take up uh, a history as an elective subject so they have to under uh, discuss this uh, point in an established manner herein i have given <coughs> a brief uh, study of the rule of louis 14 as a foreign policy part i have also included in the contribution of uh, louis 14 but this question can be asked separately also but uh, though we have to uh, answer it as a part of uh, the contribution of Louis XIV uh, or rather the important historic event of the European history uh, the, under which we have to explain the role of uh, Louis XIV in uh, European history. So therein I have uh, briefly explained this Louis XIV as a Sun King has been asked uh, in uh, competitive examination when uh, uh, his, when uh, the paper structure was different before 2008 so this question is discussed here uh, where the, why he is called uh, the sun king so it is an incidence which has been explained there uh, in, similarly frederick ii is again an important uh, person in the history of europe this question is uh, not all that popular in uh, uh, Punjab University question paper it comes after, in five, five to six years but this question uh, has been explained here with answer structures so you can deal with this question and the point structure has been maintained so that you can easily prepare any answer on the basis of points so after that the glorious revolution now in case of glorious revolution i have also placed it on my blog it is there since 2005 and some of the people probably from european country has objected to some of the points but i have indenized the presentation of this question and indian is it is considered to be a, it is definitely an important event in the development of of uh, European history as, as well as the uh, world history wh wherein I have tried to explain all the, all the important uh, points of glorious revolution. The special feature, the special feature which about which I have already mentioned in the earlier part of the video, video the, the feature is that you can use screen reader for reading this book also i will like to give you a demonstration which will be of one minute duration uh, let me try to show it that how this book can be put to uh, screen reader and it becomes an audio book also so herein i start it's a audio feature and for one minute i will record whatsoever the software reads from this book chapter, chapter 1a one. decline of feudalism meaning of the term feudalism feudalism was a political and social system it was based on a contractual arrangement of political and military relationships existing among members of the nobility in Western Europe during the medieval period. 
The core of the contract was the land relations between the feudal lords and their vassals. The salient feature of the land contracts was the granting of fiefs, chiefly in the form of land and labor, in return for political and military services a deal sealed by oaths of homage and fidelity. Origin and duration, the period of the dominance of feudalism spanned from 900 to 1500. Though its sources found in post-450 AD period, it mainly started after the period of Charlemagne. After him, the kings found it difficult to administer vast areas of land. As a result, they parcelled out their land among their vassals who assured the military assistance during the hour of need in return of the land ownership and enjoyment of rights which were transferred to them along with the land ownership. It served its purpose for all those centuries. I have, I hope that you have listened to the recording of the software. So this feature can be used. It is available in the tools or you use control T, the software audio reading or screen reading begins and it is available in the Kindle format. World History, a selective and limited content series, Volume 1A, is also available as Google Playbook. The link to this book is given in the description. Now, let us see the content, how it appears in Google Playbook. In case of Android phones, you have you must have google playbook software which is available in google, uh, on google play on your mobile phone in that software you can avail the screen reading option however on pc it is not available however, on the other hand there are some other features which are exclusive to uh, the PC presentation of Google Playbooks. Now, let me take up this book. The Google Playbook of this volume on PC can be read by spreading it to the whole screen. So you can see that herein the same topic as it is given in uh, Kindle format is discussed here. So it has the same seven chapters, chapter on feudalism, then rise and growth of mercantilism, Renaissance, Reformation, Louis XIV, Frederick II, Glorious Revolution. You can make use of uh, the highlights as well as you can write notes on your system by selecting the lines on which you want to frame the notes so herein you can select the line and then uh, you can copy it but only 20 percent of it can be copied but you can also add the notes to it the, let us check the whole book on this software so this is the question on feudalism wherein i have discussed 20 points of the decline of feudalism then comes the chapter rise and growth of mercantilism in this book also i have used dot epub format in order to upload this book as a result on android phone you can get more uh, features that is one of the special features that you can use it as a audiobook also you can make uh, uh, hi you can put highlights on it you can write notes also uh, which i have repeated or if you look at uh, your right hand side upper side there is uh, a page icon wherein you can uh, highlight the line which you want to frame and then you can write also write the notes like we if you say want to make uh, this first line that what is the definition of mercantilism so you can uh, highlight it 
there and also um, write the notes on this portion then let us continue with the, the purview of this book as chapter rise and growth of mercantilism if you find that fonts are small then you can increase the fonts also so you, you may not feel strain on your eyes so this is the chapter on reformation trans let me hurriedly cover up this chapter these are the facts i hope it is quite clear to you that what is written in this book on a specific topic these points you have already seen on kindle book and this is the google play book format of the book uh, which you are now watching so this is the chapter 5 uh, chapter 2nd a renaissance i uh, i don't think that there is need to go through whole of this book but this is the way you will find it in google play book which is readily available on google play book I really thank you for watching. I heartily thank you for watching. Oblige me by subscribing and commenting. Thanks for watching.